I want to be just like man up and go and explore stuff, but it just punishes you so hard. I haven't had to fight a single thing and I'm almost dead because of fear. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it really means it means that you have to be careful. But saying that, you went into the poltergeist room and that completely screwed you over. Yeah, see, I'm looking at this map now and the uh, the hanged man and the zombie from the last playthrough, they're not even the worst things for fear. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so something that gives you three isn't the but worst. But there must be stuff that cures it. That's probably what it is. So Yeah, you need to find some brandy. Yeah, it'll That's probably be you like need. you kill the zombie and loop over his body and feel less feared. I mean, actually, how, how much have you had this evening? You've had... Well, you haven't finished that one. You've had a beer, though, haven't you? I've had, like, two gins. So maybe you can get... Two, maybe we'll knock a, a fear off, because you've had, in real life, you've had a beer. That's an interesting way to play this game. Drinking in real version. life. So for every yeah. fear I want to knock off, I'd have a drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is get, nothing that removes race. fear, that I can see. Oh, well. It's just a lot of shit <laughs> that gains you fear. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't scare oh us. Oh, God. All right, well, let's do a Abaddon room. Let's do it. Okay, try the door of the Abaddon room. <laughs> three, five. Okay. Morgana. That sounds like a woman's name. Maybe. Maybe. It's the woman. Maybe you'll find true love in that room. In the house of hell. Or maybe not. <laughs> you enter a bedroom which is lit by a single candle burning by the bedside. A heavy, musty odour hangs in the air, which could come from all the plants which are standing in pots on the mantelpiece, bedside table, dresses and shelves. Dresses? Dresses. Dresses? I guess it might be dresses. It says dresses. Whoever used this room certainly liked plants. But another sight catches your attention and stops you in your tracks. Asleep on the bed is an old woman! It seems that she has not heard you, for she has not moved since you entered the room. Do you wish to leave her in peace? Walk over and wake her up? Or will you instead spring over and attack her? Holy I will... Will you attack a helpless old woman who's asleep up. in bed? You'll just wake her up. I reckon whoever made that mark on the window was trying to tell me that there was an ally. You think it might be the ghost bride that might have left the message? Mm, possibly. It could or maybe be, the nurse. It could be anyone who left a message, but I think that maybe they, they wanted to let, let us know that Morgana... Oh, my God, there's the... Is, uh, an ally. is that the woman? That that's looks like just, fucking Chewbacca. Yeah, I mean, I think you're doing a better job. <laughs> yeah, um, let's just stick with mine. Uh, no, no offence to... Um, uh, Tim Key or whatever. I'm not sure who it, who it is. Tim, Tim Sell. Sell. Sorry, Tim Sell. It was 30 years ago that he drew this. He probably won't well, that doesn't mean anything, does it? Can I look it? at it? Can I see it? How bad is it? Oh, it's just an old woman in a bed with lots of flowers around it. Okay, it's, it's an fine. old woman. It's nice. Chuchol's doing a great job. A, bit. a lovely Definitely old lady somebody. sleeping in a bed. If she scares you, you will be there. <laughs> I'm not going to be scared. I'm going to go up to her. I'm going to be like, oh. old woman, wake up. What's mm -hmm. happened? Read it out. You step over to the bed and shake the old woman gently. But as soon as you touch her withered skin, you jump back in horror. Oh. She is stone cold. Dead! She's dead! Add two fear points for the shock. Right. Well, we can't. We can't. We can't carry on with this fear meter. It's ridiculous. All right. It's ridiculous. We just oh have to my god, it. toots! Look, we're really scared. I pee my pants. Let's just carry on. Okay. You pee your pants. Do you want to maybe take? Uh, a stamina reduction instead. All right. Because you so pee every your pants. point over my fear, I take a stamina hit. How about that? All right. That makes sense, doesn't it? All okay. Right. So I've got one over my fear, so I'm now down to 15 health. Just do it like that. Okay. So I'm we'll max ignore fear. that. That's just that's just max. bad. Max. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Mad. <laughs> As you stand by the bed, shivering. 
A low moan comes from the body. Oh, for God's sake, she's got corpse worms or something, or possessed by a devil, or... She's possessed by a worm. <laughs> its eyelids open up, and pure white eyes stare up at the ceiling. She has no pupils! Do you wish to wait to see what will happen next, or do you run away? Oh, shit. She might be. I am a... staying here. Yeah. I'm staying here. Yeah, I would too. Because mate. in I for a penny. See what happens next. I've already come this far. I'm not leaving this room without some answers. I'm not leaving this room without some answers. That's what I'm going to say to her. You hear words coming from the old woman. Okay. Yet her lips do not move. Stranger, how dare you invade the private bedchamber of the woman of the house? You stammer an apologetic reply. <laughs> Go on. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, my lady. I didn't mean to, 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 to trouble your sleep. Be gone, intruder! Leave an old woman to die in peace! Will you leave her as she wishes, or ask her for information about the house? I will ask her for information about the house. You're going to interrogate a dead woman. Yes. Well, it's so, certainly die. no worse than the CIA have done. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. <sighs> what business is of yours is this house? If you do not go of your own record, then my hounds will see you off. And if they cannot, I will do it myself. With these words, a wooden panel slides open in the wall. Two huge great Danes spring out oh and attack God. you. <laughs> you got to fight two dogs. Right. I will fight the dogs. Fight! I'm going to fight something with my kitchen knife. I'm sick of this. Sick of it. Okay, so... Uh, how does it work? With, you fight one at a time, it says. Okay, the first dog... Yeah. ...has skill of seven... Okay. ...and uh, six stamina. Okay, so same as the zombie that you fought. Oh, is that right? Okay. I have a skill of 13. Oh, you're going to own them. And I have 15 stamina. OK, you could be the dog. There you go. Are they going to have a, a spooky spectral thing? What did you roll? I rolled everything yet. Oh. Well, you got to roll first. It's nine. It's I, nine. It's nine. So, hang on, I've got about just six over you. So you have to roll... Um, what was the dog's stats? You can't beat me if I roll nine. Doggy stats. Yeah, we'll check this out. Motherfucker. Seven. Okay. He's got seven skill and six stamina. So oh, he, same as the zombie. So he yeah. has. So if I, I, so when I roll, like I rolled a ten. <laughs> so Simon has to beat. Her, Simon has to roll sixteen, which he can't. You're well. just gonna own them. Seven. Okay, you have to roll ah. thirteen. You can't do thirteen because no. you've not able to do it. Right, I've killed the first. So dog. you've got a high skill and you're armed, which is completely owning these. Well, I've not dogs. got as high a skill as you had, but these dogs are rubbish. Yeah. This one's only got a skill of six. <laughs> so... I, I, oh, oh, my God, you rolled a 12, though. Oh, shit. You weren't supposed to roll first, but I'll let you have it. What am I going to roll? Ten. Owned. I still win. All right, you, you roll first okay. this time. Six. Uh, you have to roll a 12. No. Nope. And uh, three. OK, you have to roll uh, nine or more. No. no! Okay, cool. Holy I shit, you completely owned them. I didn't them. take any damage. You completely owned the dogs. Would you like to give it me... Looks, a... Luck's actually going in your favour this time. Well, skill, skillful dice rolls, and also that kitchen knife. Is doing so, work. you can search the room, or you can just walk out. I'll be search the room. Yeah, I mean, you've made it this far. You've defeated the dogs. Yeah. But the woman did say that she will see you off herself. Well, if I can take uh, her on as well. Holy shit, man. I'm sick of this. You've searched the old room, while the old woman threatens you from her bed. <laughs> you recognise some of the plants, as most of them are common household plants. The woman's voice grows frantic. Hey, hey, get out of my house! Ah! Uh, you're poking around in the herb garden by the window. A thought dawns on you, and you turn to her, threatening to destroy her plants unless she's able to give you the information you require. She shrieks at the thought of you harming her plants, and she agrees. <gasps> Do you ask her how to find the man in grey? I don't know who that is. Do you ask her about the secret rooms in the house? Or do you ask her what tonight's 
festivities are. Festivities. Okay, well, I don't know anything about the man in grey. No. Um, and I don't care. I'm asking about the secret rooms. Secret rooms, okay. Tell me, Morgana, about the secret rooms. Tell me. All right, give her a fucking minute. She's old. She's dead. <laughs> She's so quickly. old. She's dead. Before I will answer your question, you must tell me something. What is your? What is my name? I know it. Your I name. I know your name, what old is, woman. What is my name? I know it. Turn to eighty-eight. Is that what it says? Uh, no, but it says that there's a reference that you should know. So that alludes to the fact that you know to go to 88. That is clever. That is nicely done. Damn you, stranger! All right, then. I will answer your question. Uh, so you asked her about secret rooms, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bloody hell, so much fucking faffing around. Secret rooms? <laughs> Why, this house is riddled with secret passageways and secret rooms. Most are in the cellar, though. Cellar. But some of the upstairs passages lead to them. The most cunning secret room is the master's most trusted hiding place. It can only be reached by one way, and that is from under the stairs in the cellar. A password is needed, and I knew the old one, but it has recently been changed. Bollocks. Sheku will know the new password. That's S H E K O U. The woman's eyes closed as if the conversation has been a great strain. You leave her be and consider the information you've been given. When you're in a position to find the secret door in question, you may try to find it by deducting 10 from the reference you will be on at the time and turning to the new reference. What the fuck does that mean? Read it again. When you're in a position to find the secret door in question under the cellar stairs, you may try to find it by deducting 10 from the reference you'll be on at the time and turning to the new reference. Okay, so what you So you're is, given a clue and you have to take 10 off from it. If you're like, oh, no, 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 no. So if, like we were given 88 there, we would actually get a 78 with yeah, this. Yeah. Yeah, okay. But first you must find the password. So I think it's when you get to the bottom of the cellar stairs, it will say you're at the bottom of the cellar stairs. If you know a certain thing, then you might then know turn what to, to this do. page. Yeah, and then we'll take but ten off the number. But you don't turn to that page. You actually turn to ten less. Than no, that. I think I think it'll be. I think the reference that we're on for the bottom of the stairs will be like thirty-four. Yeah. And then we take ten off it to go to twenty-four. That's what we'll do. Ah. Uh, we'll okay. Maybe. All right. We might have to see. All right. Well, we don't. So there's a password. Secret room. And that's the master's most trusted hiding place. So yeah. Maybe that's where the knife is. The crystal knife. Yeah. Yeah. Having explored most of the rooms upstairs, you decide to risk searching the ground floor. Mm. So you're done with upstairs. You did a whole circuit, and now you're actually going downstairs. Oh, I see. You so can't go back around. We're not allowed to go back along the way. You follow the landing back round to the staircase and creep downstairs. Okay. Fuck, well I hope you had everything that you needed. Cause now you're going downstairs, motherfucker. I see. <laughs> right. Bugger. You walk down the stairs cautiously, looking in every direction. There's no one about. Oh. Oh. In the hallway below, you may choose to either try a door on the left or a door on the right. Or we can walk up to the front door. Do you want to try the front door? No. No? No, no of course not. It's pointless. But, well, you might be able to just get out. Look, what, what, Ghost on, what Bride happens? told me that on, the see. only way I was going to get out of this was if I saved a girl from the, and killed the Black Priest of the Night. There is no way oh, I'm yeah. leaving until it's I not, do that. It's not good to go through the front door. Yeah, it's not good. There's no way I'm just no. flashing the actual map That's just to bad. figure out what the Let's just grab the first door on the left. Is there any clues or anything like that to any door? Do I know these doors from before? Because I was on the floor before, wasn't I? Did you hear a weird noise? In the hall. I thought I just heard a... a, a an... Can you hear that? Yeah. Is that Saturn? It might just be Sam. Probably. Or, or it's a ghost. 
Oh, thank Sam. fuck for that. <laughs> he gave us a weird fucking look, though, didn't he? <laughs> oh, my God. So, you got a door on the left and a door on the right. Which one do you pick? Um, I'll pick the door on the left. Door on the left. Is it going to fucking electrocute me? If it's going to fucking electrocute me, then I, I, I will have known that door and I wouldn't have picked it. Surely I've been downstairs. Wait, door on the left or right? Didn't I come in here before? No, we never got downstairs. We just died in the vampire room. Shading. No, but I mean, did we start downstairs? Uh, yeah, we did, but then we got put upstairs when we had dinner. Didn't we walk up the main stairway and go to the Erasmus room? Oh, oh. All right, fine. Left. Okay. Fuck it. See what happens. The door opens into a large but cosy drawing room. Right. The dying embers of a warm fire burn in the hearth. Comfortable chairs are arranged around the fireplace. Two glasses and a decanter stand on a glass-topped table between the chairs. That's where we had our brandy. We didn't have it, did you? No, mine's still there. There are plants in tall stands on either side of the windows, and there is another door next to the one you came in. Do you wish to explore the room further, leave through the other door, or will you have a little tipple from the uh, decanter? Have a little wee tipple. A little sip. A little sup of the brands. Sure. Do you want to have a drink of brandy and hope that you sure. get a bit of um yeah, fear reduction? You get absolutely <laughs> fucking pissed and fall on your face. Lose two stamina. Okay. You pour a measure of the deep brown liquid into one of the glasses and hold it up. It looks safe enough. So you take a sip. Don't do this to me, bro. Delicious. Oh, thank God. The brandy warms you inside as it slips down, oh. and you may add three stamina points. No way! So it doesn't restore fear, but it restores stamina. Even better! That is per that's just what I needed. Are you go why are you oh. googling, Chutron? Because the iPad keeps dying on me. Oh. So I'm just going to bring it back. That's fine. So he restores uh, three, Give three, me three stamina, Toots. I drank some brandy and I feel a lot better. Nice. Let's do it. You spy a hip flask on a shelf in one corner, and you may take some of the brandy with you if you wish. Well, why the fuck not? Yep. Flask of brandy. Uh, do you wish to examine the corner shelf where you found the hip flask, or the fireplace and the mantelpiece, or will you leave the drawing room? Fireplace and mantelpiece. You want to look at the fireplace and the mantelpiece? Mm. Oh, God. A fine carriage clock sits in the centre of an elaborately carved wooden mantelpiece. A number of letters are jammed in... Uh, a number of letters are rammed... Jammed. They're jammed in. A number of letters are jammed in behind the clock. And as you reach for them... Your sleeve catches on one of the carved images in the woodwork, and it moves! <laughs> you lean forward to examine it. It is a small, carved, demonic face which can be moved sideways! So it's like a... it's got to be a secret passageway. passageway, isn't it? Do you wish to see what lies behind the wooden face? I do! Oh, it might be a secret uh, compartment. A lever! Let's see. See what it could be. It could a be either. Lever. The little carving moves to reveal a button set in the mantelpiece behind it. You consider whether or not to press the button. As you're deep in thought, you do not notice what is happening to the fire. Yeah, that's right. Oh, they're very attractive. They're lovely, aren't they? This something sexy is going to happen, Lewis. Yeah.